You wrote an article about how to winterize your child, obviously not with antifreeze. Um, the first subject you discussed is clothing. How would you dress a kid in the winter? Well, certainly, you know, uh, as the cold weather comes, I always remember to take my car in to be winterized. But we as parents, and certainly as pediatricians, need to uh, talk about how, as the colder weather comes, uh, children and adolescents have to dress differently. Um, dressing in layers is really very, very important. Uh, many of us as parents have the experience of dressing our children in the morning. Uh, they go off to school and they're very, very hot all day, and then they go out in the cold weather uh, as they're walking home. So dressing in layers, I think, is really important. Making sure that uh, the clothes that they wear are appropriate, whether it's going to be snow or icy today, um, uh, is important to keep them warm. And when uh, they do get into a warm place, making sure that they know to take off their coat, take off their hats, take off their scarves, because many of our children uh, will spend the entire day uh, wearing the clothes that they uh, put on in the morning. Uh, play, play in winter, they have snowballs and stuff. Is there any danger in these things? Certainly there's danger in the winter time. I'm always worried about the children who are having so much fun in the snow that they slip on the ice and they break uh, or sprain uh, their arms or their legs. But I'm also worried that as children find uh, winter time more and more of a fun time, that they slip and can get hit by cars. Uh, certainly this is a time of year when kids don't uh, get to ride their bicycles, so they will uh, go ice skating, for example. Not necessarily with ice skates on their feet, uh, but will go in places that can lead to uh, dangerous injuries. Can you get frostbite in the city? Certainly as it gets colder and colder, kids need to know something about frostbite. Your ears, your fingers, they need to be covered. When the wind is howling, it might be fun to be out for the first minute or two, but as you spend more and more time outside, the, uh, the exposed areas of your body, uh, as it gets colder and colder, can develop frostbite, and that is an emergency. Every once in a while you hear about in the news a family is found dead in the morning. What's that all about? This is also a good time to make sure that uh, the fire, time to make sure that the smoke detector and most importantly the carbon monoxide detectors in your home are working appropriately. And certainly if you don't have a carbon monoxide detector in your home, this is a time to go out and buy it. Carbon monoxide is an odorless and colorless gas that uh, uh, during, during the winter, since all the windows in your house are closed uh, to keep out the cold air, can build up in your house and uh, people can die from carbon monoxide inhalation. Uh, what's a good way of preventing my kid getting the flu? Well, I'm a big advocate of flu shots for those uh, patients who are worried or those parents who are worried that their children uh, will get the flu. Uh, it is important to talk to your pediatrician about uh, the flu vaccine. But that isn't 100%. doesn't necessarily keep you from getting the flu. But just being healthy, eating right, sleeping right, taking care of yourself, uh, can be very, very helpful in preventing all diseases, including the flu. You know, middle of winter, they haven't been out for a while, they drive you crazy. What could you do about cabin fever? One of the problems uh, in the winter is that we all spend more and more time indoors. Uh, cabin fever is a very, very common uh, condition, especially for young children. For older adolescents, many of them are very happy to sit behind their computers and surf the internet um, and spend more and more time in front of the television. Doing family activities that might be indoors is certainly appropriate. And this can be a very, very uh, good bonding time for families to go to places like museums, uh, go to places uh, that uh, can afford a different kind of stimulus. It's difficult to be outside. We all know that. Uh, but that doesn't mean you can't do some things outside whether uh, as long as you're dressed appropriately for, for the elements. But making sure that younger children stay stimulated inside, uh, whether it's new games, new toys, and not just sticking them in front of the television until the spring thaw comes, uh, can really help all of, all of us adults and parents get through the winter months. Thank you.